Even though Ethiopia has more than 86 nations, nationalities and peoples, the Oromo and Amhara peoples cover more than half of the country's population. Oromia Regional State and Amhara Regional State shares long boundary that border central parts of the country. People of Oromo and people of Amhara has a lion's share in Ethiopian history and both came through many ups and downs together. Recently, the ethnic propagandas escalated mistrust and caused minor conflicts between both people. In order to overcome such challenges, both regional states held a joint people-to-people -people conference in Bahadar town. Community representatives of Aromia, which included Abagadas, elders, scholars, joined the Amhara community representatives drawn from all zones of the region, and that includes elders, religious fathers, scholars, youths, and women. The Romia Regional State Government delegates, led by President Lamama Gersa, also joined the Amhara Regional State Government delegates, led by President Gedduan Dargacho. While opening the conference at Amhara Region House of Council Meeting Hall of Abai Meeting Hall, Gedduan Dargacho urged the existing generation to discharge their responsibility in building developed and prosperous country for the next generation. We Ethiopians have been building our common country using our culture, religious and identity, diversity as a means of unity and strength. But diversity never affected our unity and instead it became our pride and beauty. Being Ethiopians is the most respected identity which involved the most respected identity which involved all individuals and a group as set in one pocket. Such identity would never evaporate as a spring weather but rather the unity and pride widespread from generation to generation. Our forefathers are handled as sovereign, independent and a respected country by paying sacrifice without diversity obstacles. They hand us with all feelings and experiences of togetherness in every aspect. So with the existing generation shouldn't consider the country as some individual's country an asset. But rather, we should understand that Ethiopia is owned by all nationalities and peoples equally. We are supposed to transfer developed, civilized, and united Ethiopia to the next generation. God do not that both people have a long-lasting positive relationship, and the conference would lie a cornerstone toward this building democratic country. The Amara and Oromo people strongly tied either as a neighbors or as a family which is supported by geographical location. Both people share common culture, beliefs, and lifestyle. Through strengthening such people-to-people -people conference, we want to build our country with new spirit. And I would like to tell you our strongest passion towards building new Ethiopia on a strong rock. This time, our country and its citizens' last option would be building people's democratic unity, which is based on equality. We ought to bring citizens absolute freedom and social justice. In this regard, the Oromo and Mahara people's unity has a replaceable role, which should be strengthened more. History scholars had presented a research paper that focuses on both people's unity and relationship. <laughs> Yeah, 
For instance, the Warsi dynasty was Soromos dynasty. It's also known as Yeju dynasty. This dynasty ruled Ethiopia at least for 60 years. At the time of territorial expansion, many Amaras resided around Bale, Arsi, Wolag and Jimma. At that time, the territorial expansion has a political motivation and Oromo had suffered from the expansion. But those who resided in Oromia for economic purposes have been living peacefully with Oromo people. Until today, there are generations which are reflective of togetherness. Many of Ethiopian studies which are written previously need strategic correction. It can be corrected by both Oromo and Amara people's scholars by conducting researches together. Community representatives of both people who participated on the conference raised different ideas, especially on ways of restoring unity. President of the Oromia Regional State Government, Lamama Gersa, on the conference stressed that a common enemy in Ethiopia is a good governance problem. According to Lama, nothing can eliminate the sense of Ethiopianism from the people. He urged that everyone have to strive to ensure power balance through empowering people. Reform will be shown in the government عالم لاي يالو دنك لمدوش بيمتو لفتوى يشلو أعجاج اللي هوني يشلال لي أعجزوي يشلال إن يامن دوروميا يملك ما استدار درين شكر لما فتات New reformers only can't be solution for good governance problem. Even world top experience will not solve the problem. The experiences might support to improve but can't curb it down. The good governance problem, injustice, governance and other sectors is caused by selling services. Prices of these services also determined by the authorized person's desire. This shows that there is indispensable power among them. So we can solve the problem by empowering people. If people's power ensured, it will pave way to balance the services and powers as proper as possible. Lam underlined that both people have many common things than differences. He added that strengthening common things would help to narrow the approach and attitude gap between both people. As he stated, every nation and nationalities paid sacrifices for Ethiopia's sovereignty that the existing generation should focus on making new and significant history. Every Ethiopian nations, nationals and peoples have their own shares from Badimewar sacrifice. That was not due to sharing salary from there. It was for the country's sovereignty and respect. We have such amazing common values and identities. Why we keep silent while destructive activities widespread time to time? We all have to pay attention for our issues. Our past history should never cause conflict today. We are supposed to keep the past history just as history, and we may share good experiences from our past history. Many wrong approaches caused failure, but no gain. The past generations had registered at its own history, either good or bad. But the existing generation should focus on making other history with new model. Some top officials from federal government who participated on the conference appreciated the event as a historic and argued to be continued among other nations, nationals and peoples. The main objective of uh, this conference is actually to have a dialogue between the two uh, nations, uh, nationalities, that is of Amara and Oromia. And these people actually have uh, long borders together and they have also lived together for uh, many, many years. And they've been sharing the same values and uh, the, in most cases they also share the same history. Uh, it is not actually as uh, it's written in the most of uh, the history books in the past. Maybe this history is actually focused on uh, the uh, acts and actions of all those political leaders only. Uh, it doesn't really uh, consider the, the values uh, and cultures that the two uh, groups are sharing.
So whenever some conflict happens, that the rent seekers actually use the differences rather than the similarities. And they try to exaggerate those differences so that the clash between two big uh, nations, uh, maybe they will be benefiting out of uh, that clashes. Uh, this difference has to be hammered out. This conference is a, a historic one because for one thing, these two uh, people, Romo and Amara people, they account for almost two-thirds of uh, the population of our country. So the peaceful coexistence of these two people really contributes to the solidarity, unity, and uh, peaceful coexistence of the whole nation. So it is really very important. Uh, on the other hand, these two people actually they don't only share borders, they share really a lot of millions of people living in the other side of the border of the two uh, regional states. So it's really not only about um, sharing borders, it's also about sharing cultures, it's also about sharing um, economic relationships. Uh, so for me really these two uh, people, if they work together in all aspects, socially, politically and economically, they can lay a very solid foundation for the unity of our nation. Uh, I think we don't need uh, to take our blood to laboratories. Uh, we are all Ethiopians. And uh, even if we do it also, we may share of even the same blood. But now what's very important is uh, our differences are our beauties. That is what we should capitalize. But that difference is not the point which we have to capitalize. We have to capitalize on our unities and the points which we can make us together. So that is what we are uh, discussing now as a group representing both nations and the nationalities. So this actually is not only helping the strengths of the two nationalities, but it will help the uh, unity and the strengths and the, the development of the nation as a whole. This is a beginning between the two nations, the discussion which is on to the nations, but this has to extend even to other nations and nationalities. We should always sit, discuss and dialogue and hammer our differences and capitalize on our unity. If you do this, that the, the peace prevails, and when the peace prevails, the economy will uh, boom, from which we all benefit, and I think the country as a whole will also grow. So I think our renaissance will be also assured, and the people will live in peace wherever they want in this country on equal footing. In the past, the way the history of this nation is written uh, was really not, uh, didn't provide really the younger generation the full picture of what has had happened in the past. So this is a time for uh, intellectuals and professionals from both sides to reflect really the true history of both nation, uh, both people and communicate really the true relationships, the true history, uh, particularly uh, to really uh, have a smooth relationship in the future. So I, I feel that when I see the past and the future, we have to capitalize more on the future. Of course, we can learn a lesson from the past, but what is important is to correct uh, some of the faulty uh, histories we have and then to capitalize on our good relationships and really build our country with faith and good faith and trust. The Aroma Golden Artist, Honorary Dr. Ali Bira, played a major role on the conference by singing his unity music along with Kamar Yusuf in Tadelega Mechu. The Bahadar Oromo and Amara People to People Conference was greatly appreciated as it aimed in restoring unity and tying people. <laughs>